Good morning, good morning. How are you today? Hope you're fine. So we're nearly at the end of the 14 days. Um, so I hope you've really managed to um, incorporate some Pilates every day. And hands up, who's been honest that you've done a routine every single day? Be nice to know if you have. Just let me know. Um, send me a message on um, either Facebook or email mail.colliatlive.co.uk. Okay, or check my website out, which is mailcolly.com, so you'll find um, details on how to get in touch with me on there. So let's start. Let's do a little warm-up first. So coming down to the mat, just focus on the breathing, having your feet and knees in line with your hip bones, and just place your hands on your lower abdominals. Take deep breaths in as you push the abdominals out into your hands, and exhale, bring them down towards the floor. And again, breathing in as you push the lower abdominals into your hands. And exhale, drop them down to the floor. So start to focus on some deep breathing, allowing the stress to release. Any worries of the day, just leave them behind now. Just worrying about them now or stressing about them is not going to change anything at the moment. Just focus on you and being here in your space. Focusing on the present, not worrying about the future. And just focusing on your breath. Let your hands come to the floor. Let your shoulder blades just gently press back into the mat. And feeling that space just underneath your navel. Almost as if, almost as if a gust of fresh air can just wash through that space. And gently tucking the neck the chin in towards the chin, so the neck stays long. And we're just going to then flatten the back just gently and start to lift through the hip bones, lifting up towards the ceiling, reaching through your knees, hips are level. So you're now starting to get into the routine now, focusing on your centre, focusing on where your shoulders are, focusing on your toes, where your knees are and on your breath, and roll down slowly, lengthen through your sit bones, and we'll do two more, just rolling through, using the glutes just to gently lift, squeezing them slightly, softening the rib cage, so starting to feel any tension in your body, taking the breath to that area, and letting it go. And slowly coming back down, reaching through the sit bones. And one more. And rolling back down. Picking up one foot. And then picking up the other. Now, if you've got tight hip flexors and you're in that anterior tilt already, you have an excessive gap here underneath the back. I want you to start to sink it down towards the floor. So imagine you've got a rolled up towel in that gap. Just gently press down on the towel. So the rib cage starts to soften. You're not taking the breath into the upper part of the chest. And gently flex the feet. And one foot at a time, take them down away from you. Coming back up. Other side. So we're going into the scissors. Now you don't have to touch the floor. If you can, without lifting your rib cage, then you go for it. If you're having a little bit of a struggle with that, then focus on what your back is doing. Remember that rolled up towel. And if you put something behind your head as well, you'll find that that will help because it will help release the tightness in the neck muscles, which will help the connection with your centre. It's all connected, don't forget. What happens, what goes on in your neck also goes on in your hips, so it's all connected. Sounds a bit weird, get your head around it, but it's true. So we can do one more on each side, keeping that 90 degree angle at the moment. And when you come back to your start position, bring the legs together, let them drop to one side as you keep the opposite shoulder on the floor. And then you're going to come back to centre and change sides. Now if you find that this causes a little bit of twinging and pain in your back, please keep your feet on the floor. Or if you find that you can practically touch the floor with your knees in this position, straighten the legs and go into a straight leg option. 
see, like a little pendulum going from side to side. Now you work at a level that suits you. You're not in a class at the moment. You haven't got to worry about what anyone else is doing. Nobody can see you. Which is just as well with the pyjamas that you're wearing. Or if you need nighty. Or even if you're in your underwear. <laughs> Make sure your neighbours aren't peeking through the windows. And we can do one more on the other side. And then come back to centre. Place the feet on the floor. Place the hands behind the head, slide the ribs down and just start to look towards your knees. So think about a heavy tailbone, so you're not tucking under, the heavy tailbone keeps the pelvis in that position, that neutral position. And then slowly coming back down. And again lifting, so you're not leading with your chin, you can see what that does to your neck, it tightens up your neck muscles. So dropping the chin in very gently, so if you've got a little apple or an orange underneath your chin. So I'm trying to keep that position all the time. You must take a fist and put it underneath your chin. Let's do one more. And then we're going to twist to the right hand side. And then going to come back to centre and twist to the left hand side. So trying not to move the pelvis as you twist. So the hips stay down on the floor. And keep the same weight underneath the back plates of the pelvis. Almost if you've got a set of scales underneath each pelvis, each bone in the pelvis, each side, and you've got the same weight on each scale. Like you've got a pound of ham on one side and a pound of ham on the other side. Don't add or take away from that weight. You can do one more on each side. And then come back to centre. So that's just a little warm up, just waking through, warming up the muscles, waking up the back, getting some rotation going. And then grab your ball, place the feet on the ball, press the heels into the ball and roll yourself up into the shoulder bridge position. And then come back down. And we're going to do four more. So it's being equal right and left in your feet, so it's great for highlighting any imbalances that you might have, that you're just not aware of. Okay, we're going to make it a little bit more challenging. So next time you roll up, keep that chin drops in, push the legs away, come back in. And again, push away, keep those glutes squeezed, stay up with your hips. So if you want to put your hands just here by your glutes, that's fine. You can feel what's going on. And we'll do two more, rest if you need to. We'll just carry on going up and down as we did just now. And then stay lifted on the last one, and then roll yourself down. Good work. Okay, come off the ball, bring it around in front of you. Okay, so you're on your knees, hands are on the ball, either flat or just in a fist position. Now you're going to start to squeeze the glutes and push your hips forward as you roll forward. So you're in that half plank position, squeeze your glutes, your bum's not out there, it's there. And then roll yourself back. And again, so you're hinging from your shoulders and you're hinging here. So hinging forward and then squeezing the glutes here in that straight line. And then coming back up. And again, pushing forward. Those hips are level. Drop the chin in slightly. Two more. I'm going to make the last one a bit more challenging. Holding it steady. Now hold it here. We'll circle the ball around three times in one direction and then come back the other way. Woohoo! Hold it steady and then roll yourself back. So if you feel your back being quite painful during that, or if you feel tightness in your back, it could be that you're dipping forward too much, you're sinking too much here, which means your abdominals aren't supporting you. Oh, you can hear my voice, that's quite, that's a, that's a strain on my back. So pulling it in and sliding your shoulders down as well helps support the whole frame. Okay, so being aware of where you are in space, it's really important. Now, where am I going? Because we're going to come back to this position now. Okay, I'm just changing position of my mat, of where I am on my mat. Okay, so bring the ball back underneath you, taking it underneath your knees, walk your hands forward, as we go into knee stretches or mountain climbers, 
widening your fingers, lifting out of your wrists, bend your knees, bring the ball in, and then push it away. And again, bring it in, and then pushing it away. And again. So that's three. Let's do two more. And then we're going to make it a little bit more challenging by taking the knee to the opposite elbow and then pushing it back and again to the opposite elbow and back. So changing sides, so you're adding a little bit of twist, five on each side. Ready? I think this is your last one. And hold it steady. Give me three press ups. Holding it steady in that plank position. Good work. Still there? <laughs> Don't drop your head. Stay lifted with your heart between your shoulders. Three, two, one, and release. Good work. Well done. Place that ball to one side for a moment. Okay, shake out your wrists, circle them around, reducing any compression in your wrists, and then come back the other way. Reach through your fingers and then shake them out. Oh, bend the knees, take the arms out in front, lift them up to the ceiling, lift your chest, look up at your fingers, hands cut back down in front, roll yourself down. Watch the hand go halfway. It's a half roll back with that oblique twist. Lifting the arms, coming back down the other way, twist. So watching what your pelvis is doing, keep the opposite hip back. You can squeeze the knees together if you want to. It's a little bit harder if they're apart slightly because you've really got to focus on the outer thigh and the inner thigh working to keep that position so the knees don't fall together. So if you find that your knees are falling together, just squeeze the legs together one less thing to think about. I'm going to do two more on each side. You go as far back as you can, that you can control it. Oh, here we go, last one. And the side. And release the arms. Come down onto your side, bend in your knees, and then go into the side bend. Lift. And release. We're going for it today, aren't we? Straighten the legs if you want to. We're going for five. Last two. With the hair out of my face. And last one. <laughs> Hold it up here for about ten seconds. Reach for the ceiling. If that's too much, have your hand down by your thigh. Stay lifted with your hips. Out of your shoulder as well. Keep a nice gap in the neck. And then release, come back down. Ooh. Take the legs out in front of you and we're going into the saw. So coming up off those, on those sit bones, just slightly forward of your sit bones. So making sure that the knees are facing up towards the ceiling, arms reach out. Twist towards one side, the little finger goes towards the little toe. Reach long with the back hand to stay lifted in your, in your chest. Come back up to centre, lift and reach a long spine. So the opposite hip pushes down into the floor to help you stay long with that stretch. Come back up to centre, lift and lengthen. Push through your heels if you can to give you an added stretch in the back of the legs into those hamstrings. Don't forget about that back hand, reach long with that back hand. You can soften the knees if you need to, especially if your hamstrings are going a little bit crazy. Last one on the other side, twisting from that rib cage, keeping the sit bone down on the other side. Come back to centre and release. Come to the other side of your side bend. Bending the knees, feet and knees are stacked, elbow underneath your shoulder and lift. Taking that straight leg option if you want to make it a little bit more challenging. Watching those hips stay level. Two more. And last one. We're going to hold it up here for about 10 seconds. Bring your hand down if you need to. Watch your hips aren't twisting. Staying forward as if they're touching a pane of glass in front of you. 
staying long with your shoulders, lengthen the neck. I love side bends, so good for your spine. <laughs> I know you don't think it is, but it is. And then slowly release. Come back to the ball. We're finished now. Don't panic, we can do any more. <laughs> Pick the feet on the floor. Now, this is a tricky one to get into, but it's such a nice stretch. Okay, so walk your feet back slightly towards the ball. So use your abdominals to stay lifted. Use those glutes. Let the head drop back and let the hands rest, taking the weight of the head to let it go. Now, if this feels uncomfortable, you don't want to do it, then please don't. Just let it go. Just, just relax there for a moment. Or if you're here, and if you want to take it further, the arms can reach back over the ball, opening up the chest. And just breathe into the ribs, into your abdominals, into that diaphragm, let it go, just opening up the back. And we're just opening up and stretching all the little intercostal muscles in between the ribs. It's really good for correcting uh, kyphotic posture. And we tend to get a bit hunched, especially if we spend a lot of time at a computer or driving or watching telly. And we just tend to, tend to sit um, slumped when we get a lot of compression here in the front of the body. It's just nice to take it back the other way and open it up, help with our breathing. Okay, so to come out of the stretch, we don't really want to use the neck muscles because we've just let them all go. So take the hands behind the head so the head... It, the weight of the head is rested on your hands. Now start to walk your feet forward slightly as you start to roll yourself down. So the head just stays where it is. It's not, you're not lifting the head at all. The bum will come to the floor. And then you can start to lift the head when you get there. And that's all there is to it, as they used to say in the generation again. I think. <laughs> okay, let's bring the ball back over there. And just come back into your seated position. Oh, and we just take the neck, the ear to one side to stretch out the neck on the other side. And then come to the other side. And again, stretch. Dropping the shoulders and stretch. If you place the hands on the floor and press your hands into the floor, and then we'll keep the shoulders down. Now hold your head on to one side and then turn the chin and look towards your armpit. Come back to centre, lift the head, other side, and then turn the chin. Come back to centre and lift. Lift the arms up towards the ceiling and release. And again, lift and release and lift. And release and lift. Hold the hands above the head. Reach for the ceiling. Look up at your fingers. Lift the chest. Pressing the hands together and then bring them down to the chest and release your shoulders. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And again, deep breath in and a deep breath out. Allow yourself to relax and calm down. Two more nice deep breaths in and out. And last one. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the session. If you get a chance, you can repeat it. Um, and make sure that you're watching your water intake today. About a litre for every 50 pounds you weigh. So really top yourself up with water. You find that it will help your energy, but also help um, clarity in your brain as well. So it really helps to um, sort out any rubbish that's going on in your head, which is great. I like that. Makes you more intelligent. Okay, so drink that water. So take care and have a wonderful day and uh, keep smiling. I'll see you tomorrow.